and let's try not to crash today. See, it's a thermonuclear reactor here. You Um, yeah, first things first, quickly run to the car park with the GT86 because it uh, has already DN stickers. And as I told you yesterday, today there's going to be another attempt of the uh, getting in a bit difficult. Uh, another attempt of getting in the GT86 now. Another attempt of the Vipers trying to break the record. So first, it is right now 7.36, they start at 8, so quickly run to the car park, film the car for you, hopefully get some up close view, then drive all the way back from, well, so the entrance is over there, drive all the way back quickly there to T13, because that's where the start and finish point is of the lap record attempt with my stopwatch. So who knows, we will be able to witness what is up. So let's see. Where is the wing, the monster? If it is here at all, should be here. Get speed is here. KTM is here. I didn't see Viper yet. Hmm. I hope I'm not too late for party. Shouldn't be because the car is not allowed to enter the track before eight due to noise regulations. Quick fast forward to T13 because apparently um, the Dr Viper team has made a change of plans and they decided to start from here. Well, which is the T13, so hopefully we will get to see them. Oh, it reminds me of when the uh, Corvette and Camaro were doing the lap record attempt and I was running through the woods, which resulted in a very interesting... Ooh, chill out, I'm sorry, I'm trespassing at home. Resulted with an interest in the interesting dramatic footage, but this time this is as dramatic as it can get. Arrived at T13, and the problem is I'm not sure if the Viper is already out for a warm-up lap, whether it or it if it still has to go on there. However, I have my stopwatch ready, so let's see what's gonna happen. And then meanwhile, I'm also joined by Igor and Hi. Anton. Hello, everyone's ready <laughs> with the camera equipment. To witness something magical. According to rumors, another Viper yesterday did 6 minutes 43. Or no, 6 minutes 53 or something. Which is fast, but it was not the official car. Hmm, but again, Nürburgring is full of rumors. So let's just see what our stopwatch is going to say. And the problem is, over there is the start line. But the finish line is a bit further down the road, which we cannot see. So this timing will not be accurate, no matter how much we want to show you the accuracy. I think it's a warm-up lap because judging by the cold tires and the drift, but we'll see, we have both timings. I gotta make short notice that uh, although I was thinking the tires are not warm enough and he was drifting along, um, the thing is the Viper came from the main straight and if that would have been a warm-up lap he should have exited or entered the track from a T13 exit over there. So we might be witnessing the actual record attempt and meanwhile we're already almost into five minutes so hopefully in less than two minutes, well in less than two minutes from now because below 650 is kind of optimistic, although I wish them all the best, but we will see. We will see. Uh. This is the time when I press the lap button. That was when he entered the start line. The finish line is slightly a bit of ahead of it. So it should have been, let's even say, given benefit of the doubt, like even five seconds. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I don't think that it's satisfactory enough. So, yeah, that's it for the record attempt, because as you can see, the casual track day participants are out on the track now. That means that we will be going to the track ourselves, doing some laps, doing some laps, doing some car spotting, then doing some laps. And after that, probably 
going and uh, pick up McLaren's that I told you yesterday about. A quick pit stop at Apex because we're gonna put up all the cameras, pick up helmets, and in the meanwhile I can show you that the guys to install the lift have arrived and already started unpacking it. So we're gonna show you the quick glimpse of our lift at Club Apex, or should I say Workshop Apex, Apex Works, something something, and the door, yeah, still getting installed, so I'll let the guys work. Rotary, hmm, doesn't mean we can only service Mazdas here. And the fast forward to a car with camera. Two camera, we're back at GT86. Three camera, three cameras actually. Yeah, 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 yeah two, three. Yeah, and me wearing different t-shirt because I had a quick breakfast and I ate it like a pig. So I messed up my previous one, so I don't think that it's don't think that it's a different day or something. Now we're going out for a couple of fun laps. Yes, start your engines. Oh, смотрите, нам вешают табличку have fun. Have fun. Прекрасно. Спасибо большое. И вам того же. Now Igor and Anton are going out for their own lap and that gives me a couple of minutes to do some car spotting. 901 Mark II Turbo S yep. and then the GT3 RS and then and then the probably the best car of the day. The Julia Julia ah, She's gorgeous. She is truly Gorgeous, and then a GTR, which is suddenly getting overshadowed by the gorgeous Julia. What else do we have today? What we didn't see yesterday? Lots of Vipers, uh, the RS01 we saw it yesterday as well. The 928, yummy, pretty uncommon. The radical behind it, and then uh, yeah. Oh, let's check out the amazing Honda. Look at this. That's Destination Evergreen for you guys. Honda between all the nice things. Everyone's equal here around the Evergreen. Let's have a, a closer look at the Viper. Uh, another capitalist tool. This one? Yeah, it's a capitalist tool. Yeah, it is. So there's a rumor that this car is, was this car that did Sub 7 yesterday? <laughs> no, it was, I think it was my, my um, the other guy. The, the other guy, yeah. okay. This is my first time at the ring, so. Uh, okay. So, uh, so the rumor is correct that there is a Viper that did the sub seven. Apparently, yeah. Well, yeah. Bridge to Gantry. Oh, okay. Yes, yes Bridge to Gantry. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, no, okay, no. that explains a lot. Of course it does. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, they had another run today, but um, unfortunately they had a bad vibration in the wheel. Mm. They, they didn't get a chance to um, to get the right time for it. Even though the conditions were pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I stood there and I measured them, and yeah, yeah that was unfortunately yeah. not. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shame. Man. Great cars, though. Great cars. Yeah, absolutely. Very good, very good. I mean, this is not really stock aerodynamic oh, yes, element. It is, is it? Yeah, it, is is it? Stock, yeah. it comes with, with louvers, vents. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like, that, what that's... happens is you take them out. Yeah. So you take them out, it's got little attachments there. Mm. Yeah. You oh, take yeah. them out. Um, yeah. But, you know, the thing is, I just leave them out because, you know, otherwise you have to keep putting on and off, on and off. So I just leave them in, in attack mode all the time. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. That's nice. Yeah, no, it's good, good fun. So it's a thermonuclear reactor here. You basically you can cook anything <laughs> you want to. Yeah. It is. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, it's good. Happy it's good. to see them out here. Yeah, I know. They're meant to be driven. These exactly. Things, uh, it's it's not the garage there. queen. No, absolutely not. Yeah. Cool. Well, I wish you lots of fun. Cheers. Thanks so much. Thank you for uh, telling yes, I've me. Seen you. I've seen your YouTube. So. Uh, cool. Thanks. Thanks. Well, there you have it. The sub seven minute, uh, minute lap was a bridge to Gantry. I was already like, hmm, how can. A factory team not achieve a sub seven and then some random person do it. It's possible. Of course, it could have been that maybe they supercharged the Viper that did a sub seven, but now we all understand it's a bridge to gantry sub seven minutes. Then the GTR, actually two GTRs. Can I make a nice picture. Pick the GTR. What's the real GTR? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Then the RSO one that we've seen pretty often already, but let's just a quick look. Yep, looks good, looks still good, and what's also good is a still good Cayman. That's my mandatory bad joke of the GT4 Cayman. Look, still good, yep. Oh, look at that, that's a very nice M4 CS in the Battleship Grey. Wow, 
amazing ducktail and the GTS tail lights, or in this case could be said CS tail lights. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like he mentioned, it's looking like it's going in 60 seconds. So, like I told you, we have two jobs to do. So, uh, picking up McLaren of Tim Schmi and picking up McLaren, the 570 R McLaren. So, instead of um, doing it first, one car, then coming back, driving a bit, and then in the evening being stressed out about picking out other car, we did the most common thing. Especially since the track is closed due to an accident, we're gonna leave the polo for a bit later. So now Igor and Mark are off to pick up uh, Tim's McLaren in Dusseldorf. Me and Anton are going with the polo to Robert's house and pick up the 570. And hopefully we'll be back in about four hours and then we'll be still be able to do a couple of laps at the end. And then we will see. So again, this is the most stressy week. I had in the in year. So in, in the upcoming days you will see how much more craziness there is and the reason why the vlogs are so delayed because I'm again I'm just a one man show and of course I can maybe hire an editor or something or something but that's it happens just once a year and at this point it doesn't really yeah it's not really feasible for me to have an editor. So now let's go to Robert's place. And we have arrived. The garage looks a bit empty because orange car is now at Apex and the blue car is apparently maybe in, uh, in Italy, but maybe could be somewhere else. So the only car here is the Speciale and the 570 that we need to pick up. The R8 has been sold almost a month ago. And speaking of selling cars, uh, the blue car is also, will be probably up for sale very soon. Um, yeah, there's not much that I can tell you. The Ferrari is here, but it's gonna go to Ferrari to get some service soon. And the green car, hopefully, doesn't need any service and will perform interestingly tomorrow on the drag strip. Not sure if I mentioned it before. If not, there is that. So we can head out. By the way, this is Maximus P1 Roadster, P1 Spider. I'm not sure if you've seen it earlier, but here it is. And fast forward back at Apex, and look at there, the door has been installed to Club Apex, and actually we are kind of disappointed because we ordered the glass door, for some reason they delivered the, well, the closed door, and this is something we only see now. Hmm. Well, let's park the 570 quickly, and then, and then, and then, jump in the Polo, look at there, the helicopter, do some laps and we'll see what's gonna happen with the rest of the day. Uh... And another fast forward. Uh, I'm already like really lost where I am, what time it is and such. Well, I'm back at the TF car park. We just did two laps with the Polo and, and now handed in the transponders because we're going back. So I have to wave goodbye to all the Porsches, to all the Porsches to my friend Matis with his amazing Subaru. Unfortunately, zero passenger laps. Really want to go, for example, with this one. Also with, with Matis, also with the Golf, the Pinder wagon. Nothing of that happened because the senior self had to run, go get the McLaren, come back, do laps. Before that, do laps. Uh, monitor the installation of the door, of the lift. Uh, and now we're still not done because we have TF, instruction laps with TF. And after doing plans for tomorrow's drag race and such and such and such. So yeah, I'm gonna be very happy when this Monday evening, next Monday, because this crazy, this crazy schedule, being awake from six o'clock in the morning till like two o'clock at midnight and doing hard work, gonna continue until Monday. Hmm. And now I'm kind of running after being so tired and silly and poor boy because, as a matter of fact, the Vipers is, are giving, are getting a second attempt. So...
Do you know if that's a warm-up lap or is this the record attempt? Yeah, uh, so that'll be the warm-up lap and then it'll go. Then we have time to get to T13. Let's go. <laughs> Hopefully we'll make it. <sighs> I hope I made it. Ah, oh, shit. We missed it. Fuck. All that running was for nothing. Uh, so, no idea what they made. Sorry. Well, strange because I just checked the, um, the gallery and when I started filming, when he exited the pit lane, the DF car park, it was exactly 10 minutes ago. So, you couldn't have done two five minute laps. That doesn't, it's impossible. Uh, so that means either there was something wrong and he just said I'm not going for it or he just went for a record lap, one lap without the warm-up lap. So either way, hmm. by the time this vlog gets released I'm sure you will already know what has happened. And I'll quickly go back to Apex and do some TF. And since we were pretty disappointed that we didn't get to see them, I decided to drive to Thai Trade Center because this is their home base. So let's have a look at them. Is it okay that we film? Yes. Thank you. So here they are. Oh look, this one also has the louvres removed, similar to the one that we saw earlier at TF Car Park today. Okay, what should I say? V10, like uh, the owner of the other Viper and TF Car Park said, a nuclear reactor. Inside, pretty much stock apart from the roll cage and their race navigator. And then here you can see how much downforce it generates. It can even kill flies. That's the best part of it. The Viper is going to sleep. I haven't been here often enough today. And another forward I don't know how many times already back to Apex without full laps it's been amazing George the driver he um, was two days ago out with the Polo for the first time then we swapped for the Cupra and then he wanted to do this GT86 but in the end he said now nah, you know what I will stick with the Cupra and the progress to see the linear progress it's amazing with it four laps each day and after each day he was analyzing the onboard footage with me telling something and then uh, during the day he came to me asking like uh, okay could you please tell me what happened here and here and the progress that he made within 12 laps is just amazing I'm very happy with it it's really satisfactory to watch someone grow on the Nürburgring so for now the only thing I want to show to you is Tada! Tim's Schmi 150 McLaren 675LT Spider that Mark picked up together with Igor. It has already fitted a new set of tires on the rear by Tire Trade Center. Look at that. That looks amazing. That looks fantastic. You too by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, and now, I guess after all that struggle today, being on the passenger seat, instructing people, telling them not to crash, doing this, that, this, that, I think I earned myself a lap, and let's try not to crash today. Well, usually I tell you something about the story of the day, but I'm really too tired, and I think, I, again, I deserved, and then definitely also deserved a lap. Huge shout out to her for staying in the office the whole day, making sure that everything goes well with the lift and the installation of the new door and such and such. Tomorrow we're gonna have an amazing drag race of the 570S that we picked up, Schmidt 675LT Spider, and then the 570S which is chewed by Race Chip. So the 
there is that and now I'm gonna try not to crash into someone else into a Citroen and try not to crash because I'm being blinded by the sun because today it's like really low mm. well see you guys tomorrow comrades good shot with the um, well, Daniel's uh, differential bushes that I made in the lathe. How do you put on the lathe? Uh, um, a lathe is like, uh, like a, a material turner. So you just buy it. It's the carbon fiber wheels of the M4. Wow. That's um, pretty damn special to me.